Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Today we are starting our first of several outfit showcases for the brand new Hover Goat and Torchwood outfits that were made available in the most recent update. Today we're checking out the first Hover Goat outfit I have, which of course is the Wishmaker, and I'll be talking more about it as we get into some gameplay. I'm gonna be doing this a little bit different. I know some people were very upset that these were outfits and not variants, so I figured let's turn a bad thing into a good thing. We're gonna be spending this episode not only reviewing this outfit, but theorizing if this was a variant, what would it be? What would it do? I would love to hear your thoughts. That'll be the goal of today's episode, is to theorize what an, uh, an a variant would do if it looked like this. So that'll be a lot of fun, but before we get into it, Rux actually does have more new outfits. I'm gonna showcase in just a second. We can take a look at the mailbox, and he'll show them right here, that there is, not this one, this one. There is the Festive Rider and the Ginger Bark House. Unfortunately, I already had the ginger bark cow, so I think I only get one thing out of Rux that I would really want. I think the other thing just isn't in there. Yeah, it's not in there. That's a shame, but I will be getting the festive rider, even though it's an outrageous one million coins. I really don't think that's a good idea, to be honest with you. I really, really hope that PopCap, if they are somehow listening, reconsider the idea of the outfits being a million coins. I just feel like that's way too much, and I am so relieved that I haven't spent uh, much, much of my coins because I would be totally out of luck for this because I don't have the time to play a million coins multiple times a week because you know if I hadn't had the uh, Gingerbread Torchwood I would have had to spend two million coins and I'd have to spend two million coins the next time Rux has two more outfits and then another two million coins for the next time Rux has two outfits because I think there were well, maybe there was only six outfits in total, so I already have two of them, but still four million coins in total, like, that's an insane amount. So hopefully they will reduce that to at least like 500. I don't really think it needs to be any more than that, personally, but we'll go ahead and buy this. Uh, it's the Festive Rider, and yeah, that was a million coins right there. So we're gonna go into some multiplayer with the Hover Goat and the Wishmaker outfit and talk all about it. Okay, so here we go. We got the Wishmaker outfit, which honestly, first off, I love the Wishmaker outfit. Out of all the Hover Goat outfits I've seen so far, it may be my favorite. I'll save that judgment for when we have completely showcased all three of them. But in the meantime, I really like this one. It does look very cool. Of course, it has sort of like this genie look to it. There's a purple Hover Goat. He's got some cool genie shoes. He's got the little genie lamp as his blaster now. And he also has this cool little fez on the top of his head. Oh gosh, ow. <laughs> I might play really bad to, badly tonight. I'm just gonna give that as a quick warning. But he has a cool little fez on the top of his head. He just has an overall really nice look to him. I like the swirl to his hair in the front. Can't really see it too well. But I think it's a fantastic thing and it's all finished off perfectly by instead of it being a uh, floating skateboard it's or a hoverboard, it is a flying carpet. So the theming for this one is perfect. So what would this be like if it was a variant? Well, first off, I would like to see a variant with this kind of theming have, first off, maybe a slower fire rate. I'm thinking more like the Alien Flower or the Camp Ranger Soldier, where it has a slower fire rate, but the fire actually leaves like a little cloud of dust at the end of it, maybe magic dust or something, that further damages the plant opponent. So think of Alien Flower, think of Camp Ranger. They have that same effect, and they both also have some slower fire rate. So I think that would be an interesting idea. It would be very interesting if maybe it was even a charge up shot, and the more you charged it, the bigger the cloud of magic dust it was. I feel like that'd be a really cool idea. I mean, personally, that's what I think. <laughs> but that's why I want you guys to go into the conversation. What are your thoughts on, you know, like if this, uh, oh gosh, this magic hover goat was a variant, what would it do? What would make it a special variant? I don't know if any of them would be legendary. I'm sort of thinking about it without them being legendary, but if it was legendary, that'd be very cool. I mean, they wouldn't be too much different with it. It would just have a meter associated to it. But yeah, that's sort of my idea, and I think that'd be cool because, you know, we only have the one Hover Goat, which is very fast firing and everything, and I think that having one that might be a little bit more focused on accuracy would be great because that's sort of the big thing with Hover Goat, right? Is that you don't want to get too close. You know, he's not really that kind of character. You're going to be pairing up with opponent, or with, with your teammates, excuse me. You're, te you're pairing up with your teammates, you're trying to boost their power, you're trying to speed them up. You're a support class, so what would be smarter than to stay away from the plants? And the better way to do that, of course, is to have a little bit more accuracy. Maybe not entirely sniper based, you know, but just a little bit more than the normal hover goat is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I was trying to get over to my teammates to, to power them up. That is such a cool outfit. I cannot wait to check that one out. I unfortunately do not have it yet, but I'll get it sooner or later. Anyways, let's keep moving. 
And, you know, I'll speed up this scientist a little bit. Oh, that's a, actually, I need to destroy this. No! Darn it! <laughs> I realized, too late. All right, let me go ahead and use his little beam here. Who can I take out? I can take out this chomper a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go, I got him. I love the hover gut, though. I love how he plays as it is, but it would be very cool to see some updated stuff, you know? Like, I think that some variants for hover goat and torchwood would be an excellent idea at some point or another, and hopefully they hear the community's feedback and they do adjust to that at some point. I mean, even if they went back and turned these outfit, outfits into variants, I feel like that'd be a really cool idea still. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and keep charging people up. We're not doing the best job at defending, but that's okay. So, to give a couple more updates on other stuff that's been going on in Garden Warfare, of course, last episode we checked out the Taco Defenders uh, Mystery Portal, whatever it's called. Um, they have actually changed that a little bit because a lot of people, including myself, if you saw that episode, were having a very, oh gosh, hard time getting into a game. And why that was apparently was because skill-based matchmaking was enabled, which means that you were only finding games with people similar rank to you. And I don't know, I've never really agreed with skill-based, like, I mean, it depends on the cir circumstance, or sometimes I agree with skill-based matchmaking, go to Warfare 2, and sometimes I don't. Maybe I'll get into that some other day. But they disabled it, so I think for the rest of it, if it's still available, it might not be anymore. Um, that it is uh, not skill-based matchmaking, so it should be easier to find an opponent if they ever do it again, which hopefully they do. Anyways, in the meantime, let's go ahead and start blasting some enemies. If I can. Okay, there's a Colonel Corn gonna be right here. Get back here, sir. Get him. Okay, I got the assist. It's better than nothing. I do see that Torchwood and Sunflower. Gotta focus on the Sunflower first, because the Sunflower's just gonna heal all the damage to the Torchwood. But who is over this way? I see a pea shooter. I'm really not as good at Card Warfare right now <laughs> as I have been in the past. Not to say that I'm not all that good ever, but I don't know. Right now, I just haven't been playing well, because I haven't been playing the game much. I've just been so busy with so many new games coming out. But I've been, I said I would get to this, and I wanted to. So here I am. Oh, darn it. <laughs> so it looks like that Torchwood got me. I'll actually be checking out that Torchwood in the next episode. That'll be pretty cool. Okay, so let's get back to it. Hmm. So let's try to get you a little bit, maybe. Uh, no, nah, not quite happening. So I'm just trying to find a good way to attack people while also, like, upping the damage my own teammates. It's not very easy, though. I feel like there are definitely some environments where Hover Goat works better than others, and that was not one of the ones where it works well. But yeah, back to the uh, the Wishmaker Goat. I just feel like that'd be a pretty cool idea. Just because, you know, it, you know, I guess like magic, like poof, smoke, up and smoke, that kind of stuff, you know? I don't know. But yeah, that was sort of my idea with the Magic Maker variant, or the, the Wish Maker, that's what it is. Just because it sounds like a very magical idea to me, I feel like it would just be a pretty cool idea for the variant, but there are probably plenty of other ideas as well. I mean, it'd be very interesting if there was, I don't know, like I'm trying to think, like what would also mix in with that Wish Maker, that Wish Maker theme? Like, because he's obviously not like an environmental kind of character, like a fire or ice. Okay, I gotta get out of here. No, run, run, run. Oh, no fence, I gotta get the fence out of the way. <laughs> oh no, spawn something in quick. There we go, we made it, we made it, we're fine. Okay, just gotta be careful. I do see this guy over this way. This leaf shield weed, but also the, not the hover goat, I'm the hover goat, the kernel corn. There he is. Okay, just gotta be careful. I see, this guy can't really see me, but I see him. So I'm taking whatever advantages I can. Let me help out the centurion. That might help as well. Oh boy, oh boy. Wait, where'd he go? He left. Trying to help out whoever I can. Not always easy! Ah, oh, That stunk. That was just me being silly. Oh well. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh. Looks like I'm being revived. Yeah, awesome. So, I do see a chomper over this way. I think I should be able to pick on him a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vanquish him, but I'm sure as heck gonna try. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over this way. Got him, okay. So I'm gonna just try to hide behind the wall so they can't get me, but I can get them. Seems to be working out okay. Where are my teammates at? Okay, I got the soldier over this way, awesome. Definitely work on the Citron. Okay, boosting that damage is definitely helping out. 
I mean, I'm not really too worried about experience and stuff because I have the hover go and the Torchwood maxed out. And I feel like that was sort of the thing that I really wanted. Like, of course, you know, variants are cool, but I sort of wanted more characters to level up. I know I still have plenty of characters to level up, but that's always a big, you know, exciting thing for me is like whenever you get a new character, it's like, oh, you get to level them up and you get extra coins for it and stuff. That's always like the one of the most satisfying things. I still have plenty of characters left to master though, so. Anyways, let's get back to it. And we'll see what we can get done. But yeah, after this, next episode, we'll be checking out the Gingerbread House Torchwood, and then the episode after that, we'll check out the Christmas version of the Hover Goat. And those are the three variants, or the, <laughs> the three outfits I have so far. I'll check out the other ones once I get them, whenever that might end up being, I'm not really sure. It's just whenever Rux decides to sell them. So at this point, I've pretty much decided against doing the three million coin showcase, unfortunately, because I will need those coins to buy those outfits if they're a million coins each. So, you know, I, I did my, it was totally my intention to do the three million coins. It's just, it just didn't work out that way, unfortunately. But a lot of you said that you would rather me save my coins anyways, so it's fine. I was hoping that with this update, and this was just totally, you know, not like an expectation I had, just sort of a hope that, the, you know, and this was back when I thought that there were gonna be variants as well. I was hoping that they would have a whole new pack for the update, just as they did with uh, Trouble and Zombopolis and uh, Frontline Finders. They had their own dedicated pack. And that was a very common thing in Garden Warfare 1 as well. Okay, gotta be careful. Is there anybody to boost? I got this soldier to boost. Perfect, got rid of that Torchwood. Hey, who's on the point? Get him off the point! Okay, hold on, hold on. Nice, not bad, not bad. I see that chomper over this way. Get him off of here. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh boy. Come on, boost this guy. I can't. Okay. Be that, I'm not doing the best. I actually have a pretty high score for the lack of vanquishes I have. I mean, I guess it's sort of on par with people with like 10 or. 11 vanquishes, so it's not too crazy. And they finally took it. I was hoping we could defend there, but I guess not quite. All right, so we're defending the academy. They'll probably push to the end here. Did they have a bigger team? We actually have the bigger team, weirdly enough, but it feels like zombies win here quite often. So it's not too crazy. Are there plants chasing you? Doesn't look like it. He looked like he was running away from something, but I guess not. Okay, so who wants help here? Let's speed the guys up. There we go. Oh, that was nice, that chomper's going down, and I see this, oh gosh, more than one Torchwood, that's a problemo. It is cool that there's been more Torchwood and Hover Goat players just in general. Like, I don't know, to me that's really exciting, just because you don't usually see them too often, a lot of people mastered them back when Trials and Gnomas released, and then, you know, they stopped playing them, so it has been cool to see a revitalization on the Torchwood and the Hover Goat. Okay, nice, we got the damage buff assist over that way. Okay, I'm about to get taken out. Ah, not too much I can do about it with the fire damage. I don't know, that was still pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and respawn and take a look at everything else going on. Hmm, I do see that chomper hiding back there. For right now, let's just deal with his little leaf friend. Got him. And I can't really damage boost that imp from here, but I can help with the damage itself. That chomper is still around. I see a chomper. What are you gonna do? Oh, he's actually focusing on the imp, weirdly enough. All right, my mega laser is about to end, so if I can land a little bit of damage on somebody, I guess not. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, boy. Come on, come on. Got this Isotron, maybe? Oh, he's definitely low on health. He definitely is. Come on. Ah, uh, couldn't quite get him. Oh, well, back it up, back it up. That guy tried to goop me. Hard to tell whether I'm gooped or not if I'm purple. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Okay, this is a bit of a mess. I'm gonna try to get rid of this weed for this Captain Deadbeard so he can focus on sniping. That didn't turn out so well. Oh no, no, ah, oh, fire damage again. The same pea shooter as well, darn. That's fine. But yeah, also let me know if you have this outfit yet. I would love to hear about that. Because I'm pretty sure that the Ruck stuff I got, you know, in the beginning of this episode is the same Ruck stuff everybody else got. So there was a chance that you could have already gotten the gingerbread and Christmas goat or holiday goat, whatever it might end up being called. Um, in your, you know, random gifts and not been able to buy anything from Rux this week because of that, like, which would totally stink. That's sort of a weird thing that they didn't really think about too much. But I mean, I guess that's not really too much of their concern. Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like nobody was behind me. It looked like there was for a moment, but I think we're fine. Okay. But I do just have to say through and through, it is still an exciting and important to me personally that you know they're still updating Garden Warfare 2. And from what they've been saying, I know they had like some community live streams at some point, that they're not planning to stop with this, that they're hoping to make more content. So I'm hoping that you know by the end of Garden Warfare 2's life cycle, whenever that'll be, everybody will be happy in the end, you know? For the people who aren't happy with this update, hopefully next update will really please them, whatever that might be. Okay, let's try to get you a little bit. Come on, come on, back it up, back it up. Blast you, nice. And Colonel Corn over this way. Okay, where are more plants? We got a chomper over this way trying to cause havoc. I see him sneaking around. Come on, don't let them get it. Don't let them get it. I gotta boost some people. There we go, definitely boost the mech. We got a minute and a half left to defend. We can do it. I know we can. I really am not good, good at supporting other. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Get back on there, get back on there. No, you don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I need to boost somebody's damage, but there's nobody like next to me exactly. Okay, I need a scientist over this way as soon as possible. Ooh, no, ah, oh, darn it. Should have just kept going. They're gonna take it, aren't they? Oh well, I tried. <laughs> yep, there they go. Okay, time to defend. Hopefully we can make it work. The plans are going to, to ruin the graduation. Stop them. I'll try, I'll try. Okay, let's get over this way. Okay, I think some of the plants are about to start popping up. If I can give them a hard time as they're trying to get this toilet paper, that'd be great. Oh, there's another hover goat. Hi there, hover goat friend. Whoa, 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 hold on. There he is, there he is. Come on, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Okay, boost it. I don't have anybody to boost. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I don't know if it's worth it to do the extra damage of this teammates around that I could be boosting instead. This probably more worth it is to boost them. That way we're both attacking with, you know, decently high damage at the least. Because you know, Hover Goat's primary weapon is fine. It does really well. Hmm. Oh, I see you guys. Get back here. No, he's gone. Oh no. Oh no, he's noticed me. He's figured me out. He's figured me out. I still got him though. Like, like I said, Hover Goat, when you're accurate with him, he has some pretty great damage output. It's just sort of hard to be accurate with him. He doesn't have the easiest reticle to follow. Oh no. No, no, no. Help. 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 I need my speed boost in a moment. Is he going to go for me? No, he ran away. Oh, well, look at you. Skedaddling out of here. I think he knew he was in a tough situation because his soldiers were helping me out. Oh, it's that Colonel Corn again. He's out for revenge. Oh, gosh. Okay, get you, get you, get you. Oh, I gotta reload, gotta reload. Oh, I'm getting low on health. Stacking up that damage, oh, hiding around the corner. That's always what you wanna do with a character that has a sidearm primary, or just like a primary to their side, is just to throw out that damage from the corner. That way they can't blast you. The party is almost ruined. They haven't gotten this toilet paper, though. And I'm gonna try to make sure that stays the case. Oh, get you, perfect. Okay, we're doing pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Get this chomper. Is he sort of stuck in place at the moment? No, wait, no, wait, no, sombrero! Move out of the way, move out of the way. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't get me. Oh, wait, 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 hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no! <laughs> Where are my teammates? I don't know. Jeez Louise. Okay, so we did that. I mean, we had it off for decently long. I don't know if they're taking it at the moment. The party's halfway ruined. That ain't good. Zomboss is gonna be furious. So let's get down this way. Oh, they haven't done it yet, though. Perfect, let me go ahead and get rid of the spike weed. And then start working on this pea shooter who seems to have not noticed me, but his friend over here, no wait. I swear that was a pea shooter that ran by me, weird. Oh gosh, I'm at one health, and there it goes. It's not easy. <laughs> I mean, Hovergo doesn't have a ton of health anyways, so it makes sense, but man, it's tough. 125 health, I mean, that's average, but it's not crazy. Man, I feel like Covergo, like he's the most supportive when it comes to sort of like different types of game modes, like more defensive game modes. I mean, I know that this is a more defensive game mode seeing how we're defending, but I feel like just because of the bigger areas that he has to get to, it can be a little bit tough. I think that Covergo works the best in single location defending situations, right? So, oh gosh, I'm gonna get taken out by this chomper. Not too much I could do about that. I already used my speed boost. Things like garden ops, or I guess graveyard ops, or boss hunts are a good example of where Hover Goat really shines in my opinion. I mean, it works fine here, but it seems like when most of the teammates are focusing on one singular target, that's where it could be very helpful to have a good Hover Goat on your team. So I don't even know what we're defending. I guess the gallery. No, 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 not again, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. 
Oh gosh, help me, teammates! Teammates! Oh wow. That's a shame. Oh, we almost got the imp as well. There's too many chompers, man. Too many chompers. Okay, so let's get back into the action. Two minutes and 15 seconds to defend the gallery, and we failed. Oh well, so every chance we had to defend, we didn't do so well, but that's okay. I had a fun time checking out the Wishmaker Hovergoat 3000 with his cool lamp and flying carpet, and you know, different shoes. You know how long I've been asking for different shoes for the Hovergoat? It's cool to see him finally have some different shoes. It's not really the same way I wanted, where it's like we can just customize the shoes however we like, but at least it's something, right? So. There we go. They win, we lose. <laughs> Better luck next time. All right, so there was our look at the Wishmaker Hovergoat 3000. I thought it was pretty cool looking, but I would love to hear your thoughts on him and what you think he would be if he had a variant to him or if he was a variant, you know what I mean. Anyways, before we go, I did wanna check out some more stuff. I think there is a new um, mystery portal, which we're not checking out right now, but instead I'm actually gonna be spending my rainbow stars because this has been something I've been meaning to do. Might as well do it today. I'm gonna have to take a look at the invent. Okay, so it's still uh, capture the taco for two more days. Okay, interesting. Oh, so you know what? I can't do that. Okay, then never mind. Then I think that's gonna wrap it up. Like I said, let me know your thoughts on the Wishmaker and all that kind of cool stuff. But for now, Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Wish, so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.